So we're working with Workflowy today, which is a really nice mind mapping app, a way to put in different tools and ideas uh, and to collect your ideas, so to speak, and keep yourself on task when we're doing different things around the house or home, wherever. It's a cloud-based system, so you have access to it anywhere you're at on the internet. And you can see that we can mark a few different things by hovering over the area. We can just add maybe a note here, and uh, you know we can add in things that uh, we might need to do. Uh, and then we can continue to add as we go on to these. And by editing, we can edit the note, we can continue on, and we can continue to add on to these. It's a really nice flow work that we can work with a flow chart, so to speak. Um, when you've completed a task, you can press this, and it'll mark it out. When you go up here, I have an earlier project that was been completed, and you can hide anything that's been done, and then you can just keep the current tasks available, which is a really, really nice tool. Um, pretty much everything here is simply hover over and work with. Uh, if it's an important item, you can put a star to it like this, and this way you can find it very easily in the search window. Let's say you get stuck, you're not sure what you need to do, or you want you like working with shortcut commands. You can simply click this button, and they're always available inside. Uh, I'm the kind who likes to watch a little video tutorial to work through things, and this is a great way to be able to do this by simply going Tagging through here is really and bringing up the YouTube video that I'd like to use if I want to collaborate. So this is a really, really nice tool. Support is just a click away with some frequently asked things as well, and you can very easily get to them. This is the free app that I'm working with. And since it is free, uh, we have just the default theme, but there are other themes that come along with the paid application that we can work with, which is $4.99 a month or $49 for the year. It's the same with changing the fonts. Uh, when you upgrade, you can do this. Space is not an issue. It's got quite a lot of space, but you can get free space by simply sharing it with uh, other friends, or you can go with the pro version. Again, of course, that will give you many more options to work with. This is a really great tool. It works very well uh, since it is a cloud-based system. Another option that I really like is when you get emails from them regularly reminding you of the tasks that you've been working with and it actually lists out the tasks that you are here with. So you have nice friendly reminders because sometimes it's very easy in our incredibly busy world, school, everything else going on in order to forget things. So this is a really, really nice reminder. Overall, I enjoy this app. Fairly intuitive to work with once you get going. And I hope you enjoy working with it.